Hey guys, my name is Octoman and this is today another tutorial about yeah, Unity directly, but not directly related to how to create games, but more like how to monetize your work with Unity. And well, before we can monetize things, or we are talking about the possibilities to monetize things around or with Unity, we're gonna need to understand, or you have to understand, what's your skill set. So that's what we are talking about today. And what is your skill set? So what are the skills you are able to perform? Are you a, D a 2D artist? Are you a 3D artist? Can you animate or can you yeah, program? Or do you have several different other ones? Also, are you good at storytelling or writing stuff down? Are you a musician or are you able to create sound effects? Are you good in explaining things or talking about stuff? What is your skill set? And now I want to go into a bit deeper all of these parts and what... Yeah, do you even know if uh, you are good in what you're doing so far or uh, do you know how good you are really? So let's talk about when you are a 2D artist what kind of art in 2D are you able to create? Can you create sprites and sprite sheets? Can you create effects like for particles or whatever? Can you create backgrounds like maybe some nice mountains and stuff? Or are you even able to create level parts like small platforms or whatever is needed for a game into the 2D dimension? Are you able to create cursors and do you know what's yeah, important for cursors? Or even are you able to create user interfaces or parts of it like HUDs or anything else like that? And do you have a good knowledge about, of course, forms and shapes? If you understand as a 2D artist what you are able to perform, that's good because you can think about more stuff later on. Let's talk about 3D guys, so 3D artists in total. Are you able to model everything? I mean, have you ever thought about it? Are you able to create environment parts or even level elements? Do you know what modularity is and how to create modular parts for your 3D environment later on? Are you able to create or model characters and animals? Can you even rig those characters or anything else which needs to be rigged? Are you able to do that? Of course, are you also able to animate characters? Like, can you move them that they're looking natural and performing nice and yes, smooth animations? Like for idle animations, do you have some things you can yeah, perform better than others, for example? Do you know how architecture is actually looking? And uh, yeah, or can you create furniture like a sofa or a chair or whatever uh, you can see in your house, like or in your apartment? Are you able to create stuff like that? You should know. Same for uh, for vehicles. Can you create cars or whatever kind of vehicles, like bicycles or whatever, or motorcycles? Or are you able to create monsters and creatures of any type or any yeah any type? Or are you more like uh, can you can you create weapons, electric devices, stuff? A lot of people might need as well. You should think about that and of course write down or actually visualize that in your inner eye and think about are you able to create 3D art in total or just parts of it. Are you able to animate in 2D or even 3D? For example, can you do 3D animations for humanoids? Like what I talked about already. Are you able to make them smooth and functional and, you know, have all the offsets and all the anticipation? Do you even know about all the principles of animation? That's everything you should understand or know before you're able to animate correctly, I would say. Same for uh, vehicles. Are you able to animate those? Like uh, open closed doors, of course, it's not a, he a hard task, but also probably like for a tank when he has treads, like ten tank treads, are you able to animate these, like rotating around several different wheels and so on and so forth. Same for animals. Do you, are you able to 
yeah, animate animals like in their normal behavior, whatever they're doing, like a squirrel, are you able to animate one? And anything else you may not thought about yet, but probably are you able to animate a motor like all those uh, panels and all that things? I don't know, from a car, can you visualize or animate the inner parts of a motor like rotating things here and there, going stuff up and down, hydraulics and all the other stuff or pneumatics? Think about it. Or like an accordion. Like uh, when it is squeezing together and going up, yeah, backwards to its original position. Are you able to do this? And of course, are you able to rig if no rig exists? So, or are you even a programmer? Are you good at this? I mean, can you program in C Sharp and JavaScript? Are you able to create your own systems based on programming on or on the language, whatever you like to? But usually in Unity, we're going to use C Sharp or Java, JavaScript. Of course, there's Bootscript, but basically nobody cares about it or use it. Well, I don't think I ever saw anyone yeah, using it. So think about that as a programmer. Are you able to create systems which are not or which can maybe use for different other programs? Like, are you able to create or, yeah, yeah, are you able to program an inventory system or a quest system or a battle system of different kinds? Are you able to do that and perform all your programming skills into this and also wrap around your head um, specific problems you might encounter with that? Or are you maybe good in writing, talking, or storytelling? So how good is your grammar? Or are you able to explain things with text and only text? Can you tell good stories or explain things good in general? And how about teaching? Are you able to teach? Well, all of that might be interesting for you as well later on. Or are you a musician and are you able to create music to a specific theme? For example, there's a space space theme and are you able to create music for it like battle music or any other kind of music or when people are playing rpgs they are sometimes you know when you're in a village you have like happy sounds and stuff like that and probably a bit of classic in between as well or are you not able to do it of course or the other hand are you able to create sounds or sound effects like when you know, you open a door, close a door, whatever. Are you able to create uh, different sound effects for different behaviors for a game? So now that you probably understand what I want to say is you need to analyze and you have to understand at first before you can monetize anything around or with Unity, you need to understand what you're able to perform, what you're able to create. So a quick conclusion to our skill set now or to your skill set now should be are you also able to put or actually do you have hard and software which are ne is needed for all that stuff for example when you're a 2d artist do you have access to photoshop of course probably you have but also um, which kind of program you are able to use and are you good at it so for 3D artists, are you good at Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D or anything else you can model with, like ZBrush for sculpting and all the other things you can maybe think of. Same for music, are you able to use uh, Fruity Loops, Ableton and all the other programs out there? And of course, do you have any of these programs already so you can instantly start to do what you can do? When you are thinking about your skills now, do you have all of that to perform as best as you can for your particular skill or for multiple skills? And if you know what your skill is, of course, you can proceed to the next part of the video. So, and now the final thing before you actually go and do stuff, think about what do you love the most in your specific skill set? For example, do you love to, in 3D, for example, do you love to create more like creating vehicles or do you like more the small things like apples, bananas, you know, what do you think you can perform best and have a passion for it before you can actually start to work in any way, you need to understand and know what you can 
and what do you love to do what what do you love to perform what is your passion in your specific skill set if you understand all of that then you can go forward